Hey everyone, welcome to AIQ's first product session, where we'll be focusing on our campaign builder. I'm your host, Katie, the content marketing manager here at Alpine. Today, we're going to explore AIQ's Campaign Builder 2.0, a complete redesign of our most used feature intended to improve, enhance, and expand the capabilities of Alpine campaigns. I'll be spotlighting all of the exciting new additions and walking you through the enhancements as you go to leverage the brand new build on your own. Our Campaign Builder has undergone a complete UX redesign, premiering a step-by-step -step flow intended to increase ease of use and calibrate each step to ensure an ideal workflow is in place, walking you through all of the features available to make it easier to create the campaigns you want and not miss a thing along the way. To locate campaigns and begin building a new message, you'll visit the same campaign section under marketing in your AIQ account. The initial landing page likely does not look much different to you, but once you begin leveraging this first feature we're gonna spotlight, you'll start to see an enhanced experience unfold. The first update I want to focus on is our new campaign tags. Utilize campaign tags to better organize your campaign portfolio and easily differentiate between campaign types, organizing your campaigns by tag color to customize labels that relate to your various activations. Great use cases to think about would be labeling daily blasts, first ongoing loyalty campaigns, or you could create a win back label. To create a tag, click the tag icon next to an existing campaign. There you can create a new label. This can also be done in the campaign builder once you begin a new campaign, after you select your campaign foundation. We'll go over that in a little bit, but there's two primary places where you can create these tags and I highly recommend you leverage these to better organize your campaign view space and have a clean portfolio with an overview of what activations you currently have going on. Before we begin our deep dive and start building a new campaign, I want to introduce to you a second addition to this redesign, draft status. With the introduction of drafts, you can now save your campaign at any time during build out, which we'll explore how to do so once we dive in. So first let's start a new campaign by clicking the button new campaign located in the same spot it's always been. How you'll save a campaign as a draft is by clicking the save button in the upper right corner. This can be done so without exiting the builder or without your message being fully completed. This new addition is meant to make it so you can pause on campaign builds whenever necessary and come back and revisit them later. To return to the campaign homepage, simply click the logo in the upper left corner opposite to the save button to exit the campaign builder or click the caret to collapse or expand the left hand navigation. Make sure you save your campaign before exiting this will now show your campaign as draft versus the previous status of an active, letting you know that you're still working on the message. One thing before we move forward in regards to drafts versus inactive campaigns, there's one main difference that's very important to know. Draft campaigns can be saved at any time without validation, meaning fields can be left incomplete or missing from the campaign when saving as a draft. However, Inactive campaigns will require all fields to be present and valid upon saving. With all that in mind, we're about to start our deep dive, and as you can see, right from the start, we're introducing to you a complete transformation in the creation flow. To start, here you can now select multiple campaign types to be sent individually with the same build out, meaning you can create a separate email and text campaign targeting the same audience, leveraging the same content, and design on the same schedule, all within one campaign build. This eliminates the need to duplicate a campaign in order to send the same message with a different campaign type. You can now just do it all under the same umbrella. The same, the same structure follows for waterfall messaging as well, also receiving new updates here. When building a waterfall campaign, simply click the campaign types you want the system to prioritize during send out, by selecting the channel icons in the order you prefer. A second update is the addition of audience building and further audience segmentation directly in the campaign building process. You'll now be able to create an audience directly in the builder, eliminating the need to exit the campaign to create the audience you are targeting for a specific message. An important note here 
is to ensure your leaving time, good rule of thumb is about 24 hours, for those newly created audiences to populate before the campaign sends. Otherwise, there's a chance that you might be targeting an audience of zero. Along with this, you'll be able to segment further with maximized convenience given it's right in the builder. This includes selecting audiences to exclude from receiving the campaign, as well as per store or brand specific targeting abilities. A great use case for excluding customers would be excluding those who have responded to a survey you're continuing to promote to your loyal customer's audience, aiming to maximize the number of responses possible. With this feature, you'll still be able to target your overall loyalty customer audience and now be able to exclude those who have already submitted a response, saving credits, eliminating unnecessary messaging, going to valuable customers, and targeting only those who haven't responded. This way, you can have ongoing campaigns run a little bit more strategically, further segment a target audience in a blast, or simply just fine tune your customer base for your message send out. You'll also be able to now zero out an audience's points in the same way you're able to boost or multiply for customers who fall into a segment. If you're offering a points boost as a reward offer, for example, to customers and want to expire the bonus points balance after a certain time frame, create an audience for those who did not redeem that discount ID and have a total balance equal to the amount boosted. This will zero out their points balance, expiring the rewards points from their possession. Moving in to campaign content and messaging copy first, you'll see that we've now structured the creation flow to include tabs for each campaign type you're including in a respective campaign. You can easily switch and move between the content and messaging info for emails and text specifically. This is done so for ease of use when copying content between the two. We'll explore this a little bit later in more detail. It should also be noted here that some of the settings that you were used to are now located with their respective functions. So highly encourage you to take some time exploring each page to find what you're looking for. As you're building these campaigns, errors from these build pages will be seen and can be corrected from the final review page. So as you go and structure these out, if you're worried that you've made a mistake or something that needs to be included isn't, You'll see an error report at the end as you go to save your campaign, letting you know that there are need cases that need to be fixed throughout. Once you've established your messaging info, you can move into the content tab where you'll see a new energy to the template library available exclusively for email and text campaigns. This is an area that we've heard from many of you was well in need of a refresh. So we've made it easier to navigate, filter, and browse you'll see that our template library has an extensive selection of templates at your disposal with easy search filtration options. You can now leverage pre-built campaigns specifically designed to support your strategies as well. Simply utilize the filters to find templates designed by usage type, tags like marketing or announcement style designs, and industry. All templates are available in both text and email format and can be easily copied from one campaign type to the other for maximum efficiency during build out. Once a template is selected, you then can completely customize the content to look and feel like your brand and include any additional promotions, discounts, forms, surveys, products, whatever you need to achieve your goal. Just like in the Legacy Builder, that fully customized editing view space hasn't changed, it's just in a new space and easier to adjust for your build out. Once a template is selected, you then can completely customize the content to look and feel like your brand in a similar editing view space to our Legacy Builder. It's going to really look and feel pretty similar to what you're used to. This is where you can include any additional promotions, discounts, forms, surveys, products, whatever you need to achieve your goal, you can do so right in that editing space. And something different here within the editing view space is static products. Within email and text content comes this new addition. You can now include any product you'd like to promote within your campaign by adding static products to your campaign body. Just search for the brand or product you want to feature and a list of options will be pulled from available public menu libraries and econ sources. After searching products, you can then drag static product blocks into the email landing page content to customize. Once you've completed the content portion of campaigns, you'll reach the final stage of build out. Here, you'll be able to double check your work, make adjustments, customize tracking conversions, 
schedule your message, give points to campaign recipients, and forecast your campaign impact and potential cost. Let's elaborate on what all that means. Apart from reviewing your work here, one of the key feature updates is the ability to schedule ongoing campaigns to specific timeframes. You'll now be able to set time windows for ongoing campaigns to send within, allowing you to better strategize and plan when you'd like your auto-connected campaigns to be received by your customers. Think being able to have specific time windows that your auto-connected loyalty campaigns go out. You could have all of your loyalty campaigns structured to deliver to customers during your early hours of 9 to 11 a.m. to influence them to come in later in that day. Finishing off campaign enhancements, we close with a forecast view, allowing you to gauge the impact of your campaign by mapping out the estimated recipients and cost of send. Another valuable addition we'll be reviewing relates to billing. Our new builder, you'll be able to assign campaigns to individual locations, allowing you to segment invoices by retail location, making it easier to understand the respective marketing costs associated with a particular store in your organization by campaign. Lastly, to save your campaign as active or inactive, in the upper right corner, you'll select the drop-down caret to make your selection. To adjust this later, simply visit the home campaign screen and adjust your campaign label directly from the list by clicking the active or inactive button. This is the same as it was in the Legacy Builder, has not changed. So to recap everything, we've introduced a new step-by-step -step workflow with the ability to build multiple channels within one campaign umbrella, added customizable color-coded campaign tags for increased organization, incorporated audience building plus enhanced segmentation features directly within the campaign builder, introduced a brand new template library plus static product capabilities in the customizational tool, ability to send out time windows for ongoing campaigns, premiered a campaign forecaster to close out the build out process for all campaigns, introduced by location campaign building, various improvements to the campaign manage page and improved our media library drastically. Don't worry, if this doesn't feel right for you quite yet, you can always switch back to our original builder by selecting Legacy Builder in the bottom left hand corner on the first and last page of the new flow anytime. So we're going to host a live question and answer session to discuss all of your questions. We'll be sending you a follow-up email to submit your questions ahead of time to ensure we can answer as many as possible. In the meantime, don't forget our live support is available Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to help navigate this new change and really get custom to these amazing new enhancements. Before we go, I want to thank you for joining our product session today and exploring the new campaign builder. We can't wait to see the experiences you create with our updated features and new additions. Keep an eye out for our next product feedback survey as we always look forward to hearing from you. Thanks so much for joining and we'll talk soon.